Welcome back. We are here on the eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for October 19, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start off by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see on Friday, we did pull back quite a bit and then rallied, but we still ended up in a red candle. Um, it is quite mixed at the moment where this um, will lead us because of the technical indicators are also fairly mixed. If you look at the uh, CCI, it is basically pointing to a lower levels, while the RSI is uh, basically right in the middle, while the MACD is also in the middle and uh, the stochastic is fairly bullish. So technical indicators for, for, for USD at the moment are fairly useless. The thing that we can look at is that we are trading above the 50 moving average. And this pullback um, or at the end of the day uh, on, on the Friday session is quite uh, bullish. It could be that we will see higher levels. However, we need to get through these, this level here of 93 and beyond in order to, to go to uh, 94.7. But as long as we are trading above the 50 moving average, we are technically more bullish than we are bearish. We can say it like that. If we have a breakdown from here uh, underneath the 50 moving average, then we'll run into these lows at 93. And that seems to be a barrier that has historically been uh, a hard level to get through. You can just see this entire area here where we tried to get through 93 level and we did not manage to get through that. So if we break to the upside, of course, we need to go past 94, then have to go to, to 94.76 in order to get to 95. And after that, we'll probably go towards the 200 moving average at 96. Um, yes, this is quite mixed. And of course, it will also be quite mixed uh, what impact this will have on commodities and precious metals. So if you look at oil, So oil did pull back earlier in the trading session on Friday and we ended above the uh, 50 moving average. And at this point, it is also very difficult to say where oil will go. The fundamentals for oil are quite weak. The world economy is not doing well uh, and is expected to do far, far worse in the end of 2020 and also in the beginning of 2021. So all everything points to lower demand, lower price levels and so on. However, we have tried to, um, to pull back towards the 200 moving average the last two weeks. We have not been successful. And usually when, when uh, that happens, we basically go to the upside. But there's just not a lot of demand out there. So upside, what technically does that mean? Well, for the last few months, we have been trading from a highs of 43.86 uh, and to a lows of, these are the lows here. You can see the lows there of uh, $36. So we've been trading in between uh, these two ranges. And it may well be that we'll go up towards the 43 uh, level and then go back down. It may as well be that we'll go towards the 36 level, which I do believe that we will do within at least a, uh, not in probably days, weeks, but certainly within months, we will uh, go um, down in price level in oil. I'm not favoring the upside due to the uh, economic situation in the world and there because there's a very um, high correlation between how the world economy is doing and the price of oil. So I do believe that we will, we will eventually fall back towards the $36 level 
I do believe also that we will break this level and go to $35 and also to $30. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that, that our first Fibonacci retracement at the 38.2% uh, is at exactly at $30. And I do believe that that will be target uh, in the coming months at least. I don't favor the upside. I do believe every single rally to the upside, if we get to uh, $43 to these highs, that will be sold into very aggressively. Um, so only time to tell. You could probably also look at the, at the US dollar index. That is quite mixed at this moment as well. But if the US dollar index does increase in value, then it will have the opposite effect on, on oil and vice versa. So if you look at natural gas, so natural gas did rally on Friday and then broke down again. And I do believe that is a sign of weakness. We are very overstretched. We need basically a pullback similar to this towards the 50 moving average in order for this market to go higher. I do believe that will go higher. We did break these, this price level here. The next price level will be at uh, 3.36 and then to 3.76 and so on, and then probably beyond that. We are uh, approaching the winter months and that will only uh, increase the price levels as demand for natural gas uh, will increase. Furthermore, um, Suppliers of natural gas, also of, of, uh, of energy supplies uh, overall, are dwindling. So they are going out of business. That means that there will be less supply that will also most likely increase the price levels. If you look at the technical indicators for, for uh, natural gas, we can see that uh, the MACD is above the signal line, but it is showing signs of weakness here. It most likely will take uh, one or two trading days before this to to basically turn around and then we'll have a shot at the 50 moving average you could say if a break through the 50 moving average which is very unlikely then we'll basically go towards the 200 moving average uh, stochastic is taken flat at this moment at this point uh, we are not overbought not oversold but we are we are close to being overbought at this point we are at 60 yeah, 5 and 70 is basically the, 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 the limit. Uh, we can look at the, the CCI. We are This is showing that we are in an overbought situation. We Here we were specifically overbought and momentum was the downside. Now we're basically flat. And what I do expect uh, to see here is something similar to this. We will basically fall towards an oversold position and then head back upwards something similar to this, then go up and down. Uh, we are just overstretched and usually when that happens and also when you have uh, a bearish candlestick similar to this one, that is not a good sign. Uh, and But this is an opportunity for to buy uh, natural gas at a discount, basically a pullback towards the 50 moving average and a bounce that is a, a possibility to buy natural gas. So we look at copper. As I said for copper last week, it looked like we have basically touched the limit of where copper will go. I don't believe that will go uh, surpass 3.12. We have tried several times to get to that previous levels and we have failed. And this, I think, was a warning sign that copper uh, may fall significantly. Estimates for copper are around this price level at 2.6. Um, so um, I do believe that is where we're going. It looks like we're just running in. Uh, we are, we have, there's no more momentum to the upside and then we'll start to go down uh, from here. So we have seen something similar to this. We had a, basically a shot to the upside trading sideways for a while and then just going back down. 
And I do believe, the fir first of all, we have to break the 50 moving average at 2.9. And then we have, then we'll have to break these lower levels, which were previous, uh, well, significant, significant support. If this breaks, then we'll go all the way towards the 200 moving average at 2.6. Um, basically rallies at this point, I do believe they will be sold into, um, especially if we get close to this, um, Price level at the 3.12, then it will be uh, the sellers will come in and, and pressure this price down. If it were to break, then we'll go much higher. We'll go to first of all here to 3.17 and then all the way to 3.3. But I do not favor the upside at this point. This looks like a market that is about to turn around. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is basically fairly flat. It's about to turn around and uh, cross the signal line. The stochastic is technically flat. Uh, the, the CCI is also showing signs of weakness, and so is the RSI. So we may see a fall towards the 50 moving average on Monday, um, and probably within the next week, we'll see a retest of these lows. So if you look at gold, We can see that we tried to rally towards the 50 moving average. We broke down again. And at this point, it is fairly mixed. I don't believe that will break the 50 moving average. Um, um, due to the fact that there's just too much resistant above this area here. We have this trend line and we have this the 50 moving average that we have to break through. And furthermore, we have this entire entire area here which we tried to get through um, previously in the previous months we did not manage that and therefore we both broke down we have been trading sideways and i do believe that will break even further and then probably trade sideways until we reach the 200 moving average and then we go up from here so at this point the way this price levels were gold are are basically acting it's not like we have a massive breakdown to the downside and then a massive bre break to the upside we are gradually grinding lower down and then probably down and then that's that's the way that the gold is behaving at this moment um, and the destination for gold or the, the support levels for gold first of all it's uh, 1850 which is support then we'll go to the, towards 1800, and then we have the 200 moving average. I do believe when we get to the 1800 level that we will see a lot of buyers come in and uh, buy gold for the long run. As long as uh, there will be um, additional um, monetary expansion for, on behalf of the Federal, Federal Reserve or and central banks around the world, we will see uh, people buying gold as a safe haven. Uh, but at this point, we just don't have the momentum in order to get through this area. If we were to get through this area, then we'll, we'll go towards 2000 and 2000 and, um, 2100 and beyond that. But we technically have to see at this point. It's not a good entry here at the moment. I have no interest in basically selling this. Uh, I'm interested in this, seeing this going lower and then entering a, a long-term buy. If you look at the technical indicators, then they are fairly mixed. Uh, MACD is technically flat. Stochastic, stochastic is uh, about to cross the signal line again, indicating that we'll probably go higher on Monday session. The same goes for the uh, CCI. It is also pointing to higher levels while the, while the RSI is technically flat. So there's not a clear picture of from the technical indicators where we're technically going. This is, um, and therefore, just stay away from gold. So if you look at silver, the same thing here. It is fairly mixed. We can just look at the technical indicators. They are all over the place. The MACD is flat, stochastic, is about to turn around. The CCI is pointed to higher levels and um, the RSI is pointed to lower levels. So at this point, it is um, it is uh, technically gambling just to enter this market at the moment. 
we need a clear sign to the downside, a break towards the $20 level or clear uh, close to the 200 moving average in order to enter the buy uh, position. Um, selling this is, is not a good idea because in the long run, this is a market that will go higher. And uh, we could basically rally really aggressively to the upside. That is also possible. However, similar to, to, uh, to gold, we have the 50 moving average above here. And if that breaks, then we have this entire area that we have to get through. And that will be, we need a lot of momentum in order to get through this area here. So in the short run, I don't believe this is going to happen. I do believe that we are, we're going to see something similar to gold that will go down, an additional level down, and then we will get the additional momentum in order to go to the upside. If we were to break to the upside, then of course we'll uh, we'll go to uh, twenty eight dollars, and then we'll go to thirty dollars. So if you look at Cocoa, so Cocoa rallied on Friday. We pulled back a little bit, but this is an encouraging sign. We are still in a downtrend. We are actually uh, we could make the case that we are basically trading within a channel at this point. Um, and it's somewhere. So we may have a pull towards this uh, this um, upper resistance line uh, on Monday or on Thursday session because we can see that the technical indicators are turning around. Um, this may also be the lows. These were the previous lows if we go um, way back here. Then this area was just see how often we have basically touched this area in the past so this could be basically the lows um, or we're just going to have a, a minor pullback to uh, uh, pull back toward towards the, the 200 moving average before we go lower because at the moment put this away sorry at the moment we are trading in between the highs here of 2.7 and the lows of 2.0. So we're right in the middle at this point. We can, if you look at this from a long-term perspective, it looks like we rallied from the lows of 2.0 towards 2.7. And at this point, we are basically heading back towards 2.0. That is a possibility. I'm just pointing out that this was previously a significant support. If this area breaks, then we'll go towards this level at 2.2, and then we'll certainly go to 2.0. If we turn around from here, then just remove these lines. If we turn around from here, then we'll find resistance at the 200 moving average. We'll definitely find more resistance at the 50 moving average at 2.5. And if that breaks, then we'll most likely go towards these highs again. So if you look at the technical indicators, the MACD is still quite bearish. The stochastic is showing signs of basically it's about to turn around. And, and, uh, and that is a positive indication that will go to higher levels. Uh, the CCI is indicating here that we have been significantly um, oversold for a long period of time. Since the end of September and uh, to basically October, we have been in an oversold position. And that is often a sign that we will turn around, probably not significantly, but we will see higher price levels. If you look at a similar situation, for example, here, we were also in a similar period oversold. We rallied up towards this price level here before pulling back towards the, the lows again. So we may see something some, uh, similar to this. We'll have buyers come in and then it will drop again. So that could mean that we'll go up towards the 200 moving average and then go even lower from here. So if you look at platinum. So platinum tried to rally on Friday. We pulled back towards the 50 moving average and now we are just above the 50 moving average. Um, technical indicators for platinum are 
really mixed. MACD is flat. It has been flat for a really long time. The stochastic is still quite bearish. And the CCI is showing sign of a little bit of strength. But this is not a really good indication of where we are going at this point. I don't favor the downside. And the reason why I don't favor the downside is because we have so much support underneath here. And if that breaks, we'll have additional support underneath this area here before we ever basically get to these levels. So I don't favor the downside. It is, of course, possible. We have tried, for example, you know, you know, three, two weeks ago uh, when we broke down to 824 level, but we rallied significantly again. If And... At this point, we are just hanging around in between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. If we, were, we have tried to rally up towards the 50 moving average, for example, here, and we just broke down again. So at this point, we can see that the 50 moving average is going to have this trajectory towards this area. If we have another rally and break through the 50 moving average, then we'll go to 940 then to 980, and then to 1,000. However, this we need a clear sign where this market technically will go. We are just trading right in the middle. We need a breakthrough, breakdown to the downside, which I don't really believe is going to happen, or we need a break above the 50 moving average. So we look at sugar. So sugar did... A rally again on Friday and uh, we stopped well not at the top and at this point we definitely need a massive pullback towards the 50 moving average which I do believe is coming at at at, at some point um, we did not close above these uh, previous highs and that is not a sometimes not a very good sign this is a really bullish candle, but taken into um, consideration that we are overbought, we do have uh, the momentum indicators that are showing that we are most likely going to see uh, lower levels next week, and that we did not basically manage to break these previous highs on Friday, that could indicate that we are going to go lower. If we break the lows of this candlestick here at 0 0.1375, then we'll go significantly lower towards the 50 moving average. And that is just a good buying opportunity for sugar. If we break these previous highs, then there's nothing really that's um, in the way from us to heading to these, uh, to these highs of the 0 0.15 and beyond that 0 0.1588. Uh, we are really overstretched. This is not, by buying here is really risky. Um, and as we are in an uptrend, uh, selling uh, sugar is, um, is not a good idea either. The best idea here is basically to wait for a pullback towards the 50 moving average and then enter a buying position. So if you look at wheat. So re, uh, we, we, I said, uh, rallied significantly on Friday. And at this point, we are really overbought, overstretched. Um, of course, the, the weather conditions have a lot, um, um, significant effect on this. Um, but at this point, I do believe we have a pullback. It is just not... A good idea to enter this market in a buying position at the moment similar to sugar and so on um, this market can turn around really aggressively towards the 50 moving average which is basically the buying signal that um, that uh, that um, is the best buying signal technique that you can get this is an uptrend and we will mostly see this market go uh, higher but we are overstretched we are overbought at this point the the CCI is still is also showing signs of being overbought. How fast we can we'll turn around from here is it's probably if I say uh, from from three to five trading days that we'll see 
a major pullback, then I I would not be surprised if that were, were the case. So best tactics here, similar to, to the sugar trade, is basically to see a pullback towards the 50 moving average in order to put in a buy position. As we are so far away from the 50 moving average, um, if you see a major pullback or a major trend towards them in the in the MACD and stochastic, that is also a possibility to basically put in a short-term short position. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and uh, happy trading.